Hey there, I'm Charlotte, the Gulf Coast Granny, and tonight I'm having a very difficult time sleeping because I fooled around and took a three or four hour nap this afternoon, which was a dumb idea. Um, but we, we've had a really busy day. Um, my daughter's in the band, and she went to her band competition, and of course we went too, and we stayed out in the sun all day, and it was a beautiful day. It was only about 80 degrees. And there was very little humidity today, so it was an enjoyable experience, but it'll sap the life out of you sitting out in the sun half the day. So I came home after we had some dinner and um, took a nap. I fell right to sleep. It's like it sapped me. And so I decided this evening when I woke up, I think I woke up about an hour and a half ago, and I'm bored to death, so I thought that I would address some of this problem that I have. <laughs> this is a bag of frozen peppers. And I, I've had them in the freezer for quite a while. These are some roasted peppers. And this type here is habanada peppers, and they are habaneros that have had the heat bred out of them, or at least most of the heat. Now, I have gotten a hold of a few of them that if you keep the seeds in, it can be a little bit spicy, and I can't really eat spicy stuff, so I usually take the, the heat out of them. But I thought that if I dehydrated them and made a, ground them up and made like a pepper sauce or a just a pepper powder out of them that it would really enhance and season the food that I cook. So I've got those. I've got a ton of the habanada type of peppers. And I also have these little, they're beautiful peppers. They're tiny though. They're called ahi dulce peppers. And these are the kind of peppers that people use to make um, sofrito in the Latin American uh, world. So I grew them so I could make my own sofrito, but now they're frozen and they won't make really good sofrito, so I'm going to dehydrate these as well and just add them to the mix. And that was my plan. Here's some more roasting peppers. Now, a lot of these are not red. I pulled out a lot of red ones because they're on the top, but these, I've got some little green ones here and the, the um, ahi dulces here that are anywhere from green to yellow, and I've, I've picked them in, in a variety of stages of production. I've even got a serrano pepper, and um, I have, look, this whole bag is crazy. Let me, let me show you what I got here. See that? That's how many I have to dehydrate. Well, I also have this little jar here of recently picked Tabasco peppers. And so I thought what I'd do, like I said, I'm going to dehydrate all of these, but I'm going to separate them after they're dehydrated and take some of the habanados out and just make a habanado pepper and then take the rest of them, grind them all up together, and make a spicy, peppery mix of powder. So, I guess I need to get started. Can y'all see? Yeah, you can see. So, I'm going to separate all the peppers and put, you know what? I don't know if I should cut these in half or not. I think I'm going to. We'll take the stems off and cut them in half. And I'll just talk to y'all while I do that because that's just busy work, you know? But I'm not going to take the seeds out. I'm going to leave them just how they are and throw them up there. Gosh, they smell good. So, looks like I got two people in here. Why don't you go ahead and say hello so I don't feel like I'm all by myself. Um, the band competition today was a lot of fun. Um, and Well, it wasn't really a competition. Let me back up a little bit. It was called an exhibition, and basically what the kids do is they 
go through their program and have judges listen to it, and they give them feedback on how they're doing because the next the next exhibition is actually a competition, and they will be graded according to how they do. So it's really nice for them to be able to get this feedback uh, today so that they can work on the parts that they need to work on for the actual competition. But they, they did great. Um, they got some really good scores, and I couldn't be any prouder of them. Uh, my daughter plays the marimba for anybody who doesn't know, and it looks like a great big xylophone that's made out of wood and metal. It's got great big, uh, looks almost like chimes on the bottom, and I forget what they call those. She knows, but I don't. Um, and she plays other instruments as well, but for, band, uh, for marching season, that's what she plays. So she doesn't really march. She's in what they call the pit. And that is the whole front line of the band that doesn't really move around. All right, can y'all, yeah, y'all can see what I'm doing. It looks like a bunch of strawberries up there, doesn't it? I um, love how beautiful these peppers are. And that's one of the main reasons I love to grow them is because they decorate the garden and make it so pretty. Um. So I'm going to put all the habanados on this one rack here. At least I think I am. As long as I don't run out of room. If I run out of room, I'll go ahead and put them, you know, on the go down a rack. But I don't think I'll have enough to fill up two for sure. Um, now, if y'all grow any peppers, this habanada is a great one to grow. Because the flavor is so unique. It's a very fruity flavor and very, well, it's almost a tropical flavor. Um, and it's not something that you run across all the time. Now, I know that a habanero pepper has a similar flavor to this. But honestly, I tried one one time and it was so stinking hot that I couldn't, I couldn't taste anything, to be honest with you. But that's my lot in life with not being able to handle too much spice. Um, if you're in here, I see I've got one person watching this evening. Please let me know if you can hear me well enough. I know I'm a loud mouth, but I want to make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to. Um, and I'm saying, um, a whole bunch, aren't I? Shouldn't be doing that. I think cutting these in half will help them dehydrate a little quicker. I know somebody's got to be up at midnight. I can't be the only one on the planet that suffers from crappy insomnia. Hey, Laura, how are you, honey? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, Laura, let me tell you a story about this dehydrator. This is my second dehydrator. The first one I had was an Excalibur, and it was a wonderful, wonderful dehydrator. Um, it had nine racks in it and it dehydrated so well. Well, when we moved, I don't know if you know this or not, but I had a heart attack two years ago and that was about the same time, same week that we were moving to this house. Well, I kept telling Poppy, he ended up having to do a lot of the move himself after that. And there wasn't a lot of stuff left in the house, but there was enough that he had a lot to do. And he left my dehydrator in that house. And they sold it with my dehydrator in it under the cabinet, exactly where I left it. And I kept telling him over and over, don't forget, 
Don't forget my dehydrator. Well, he did. So this is a just a Nesco food and jerky dehydrator. And the one thing I do like about it is that it has um, the different temperatures settings on it. Some of them, you know, you just turn them on and that's it. But I told him I had to buy this one until I can afford to buy another Excalibur because those things are not cheap. In fact, I had to make payments on the one that I had. and It took me about eight months to pay it off. But, oh, Lord have mercy. I'm showing all my business, aren't I? Um, but yeah, I was, I was so upset. I cried and cried and cried over that stinking dehydrator. Of course, it might've been because I was just over emotional because I just had a heart attack, scared myself to death because I don't usually cry over silly stuff like that. <laughs> but, but I was mad. I'll tell you that. I was mad as a hornet. Were you able to hear what I was doing with these peppers? Meanwhile, so yeah, somebody's enjoying it or I don't know. Maybe they didn't know what it was and just pitched it in the garbage. And if I'm, I'm going to look, I'm with you. I'm going to pretend that somebody is enjoying and really knows how to use that dehydrator because it would break my heart to think that somebody had thrown it away. Hey, Grumpus, I am. Oh, goodness gracious. Alive. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh, good grief, Grumpus. I'm, um, I'm dehydrating these habanada peppers. And, of course, I, it won't happen tonight. It, it'll take probably till afternoon tomorrow for them to be finished. But, um, but I'm going ahead and doing it. So, eventually, when I can decide to fall asleep, They'll be working for me in my sleep, right? So now I'm going to take this. I don't like to crowd my dehydrator. You know what? That's funny because that's exactly what I thought earlier. Hey, Marcel, how are you doing? I'm dehydrating habanada peppers because I've got insomnia because I was stupid and took a nap earlier today when we got back from the band competition. And now I can't sleep. So I figure, well, I might as well do something, right? If you want, guys, I'll, it's going to take me a minute, but I'm going to get over there to um, to my table, and I'll put a link in here for y'all if y'all want to come up and chat with me while I'm working in my kitchen. Marcel, we got <laughs> – go ahead and tell them, Marcel. Um, oh, Lord. Grumpus, I'm going to go ahead and leave the seeds in here because a lot of these seeds from the habanada peppers can be really spicy. But I figured if I took half the seeds out after it's dehydrated and then I put left some of them in and mixed it with all different peppers, I'd have a spicy batch and a batch that's not spicy, which suits me right down to the ground. What do you think about that? Hang on. Let's go over here a minute. I'm not used to having to do this by myself because Poppy's usually up here, you know, taking care of a lot of this uh, computer stuff for me. Let's see. Y'all hang out with me for a minute because I'm just going to get a link up here for y'all. It would be really nice to have a little bit of company. <laughs> Poppy never can stay up as late as I do. Of course, Poppy's not going through menopause either, is he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Would not be a stream if I didn't do that. I'm really happy for you, Marcel. That's what I was going to say. Um, right. Copy. Actually, 
actually, Marcel, I was going to tell you earlier, I think you ought to bust into the side of that thing <laughs> and do some video and give us a sneak peek. I guess, I guess you could go through the door. Do you have the keys yet? Y'all, there's my link, so come on up. I don't even care if you only have half your, half your clothes on. Come on up here and keep me some company. Whoops. There. Nope. That's not quite it. Urgh. I've got to plug my phone in because I've only got 39% on my battery. You got a t-shirt and a gitch? Thank God now I know what a gitch is. Oh, I'm going to do it. Oh, that's ugly. Hang on. That's the best I got, y'all. Been working on the wife's pergola thingy all day. I'm whipped and fading fast. <laughs> well, I understand that. I do. What are you doing with the pergola, Grumpus? Are you just building it, or are you making something better on it? Oh, let me see. Me and Poppy didn't do any working today. We did the band competition, and like I said earlier, I came home, and I was slapped tired from sitting in that sun all day. So I took a nap for about three or four hours. And then when I woke up, I was cussing myself because I knew, I knew that I was going to be up all night. So here I am, just doing me. Okay, I'm almost out of the habanada peppers. Huh. And the only reason I'm doing this with these peppers is because they're frozen. And I know if I tried to can them or pickle them, they would turn to mush. Especially once they were in that um, water bath for 10 or 12 minutes, what have you. So I decided to go ahead and do it this way. Now see, these are some roasted peppers here. And they're pretty. Look at them. And look, this is crazy. I grew every one of these, y'all. Every single one of them. Marcel, why are you sunburned? Because you were out at the property all day supervising? The delivery, because I know I'd have been there. But yeah, some of these, these little red ones here, these are shishito peppers. And um, these are serranos. And I got a couple of jalapenos, not many. Just, well, two, yeah, three. And then I've got all of these um, ahi dulce peppers. And that's pretty much, oh, and this whole jar of little Tabasco peppers. And I grill them all myself. <laughs> go me, go me. Okay, so I've got, this tray's not near as full as the other one, but I got this tray done. I'm just going to stack them together like that. Look, you know what's going to have to happen? I might end up having to put these outside on the porch to dehydrate them. You're starting from scratch and setting six by... 
Holy Moses. That Those are heavy posts. I sure hope you've got some help. Are you drying for spice or just to add to food? Both. Both, Laura. Um, honestly, you know, I'm a fly by the seat of my pants kind of cook. And that's why I wanted to do it both ways. Because you never can tell what I'm going to do in the kitchen. So I figured I might as well have both of them do it both ways so that I can have a lot of options, you know. I don't like the way this is looking. There. That's better. So now I'm going to do the uh, ahi dulce peppers. Y'all want to see? Boop. Nope, that's a terrible view. Sorry. Uh, fantastic. The candied jalapenos are addictive. You have been warned. <laughs> Look, I've got, hang on. This whole Walmart bag here is filled with jalapeno peppers and garlic. So I'm really excited. And look at them. They're enormous. And so actually is the garlic. The um, I had to buy the garlic. But I don't think I've ever bought a garlic that big before. I don't know if this is an elephant garlic. But these cloves are huge. At least they look awfully huge to me. Are you going to grind them? Pep yes. Yes, Grumpus. Um, I'm going to grind all of the peppers. But what I'm going to do specifically is I'm going to use some of the habanada peppers, the ones that have been had the heat bread out of them, except for the seeds. I'm going to de-seed half of them. And I'm going to make a pepper powder that has no heat in it. It just has the flavor. And then the rest of the peppers, I'm just going to throw them in a grinder all together and have a super spicy variety pepper powder. Um, you love to eat the cowboy caviar in crackers and cheese. I bet that's delicious. Pour it over the top of some cream cheese or something like that. Um, let me go back a little bit so I can see what what we're doing here. Okay, I'm caught up. Yeah, it, it does sound delicious. Um, and I know the cream cheese will cut cut that spiciness and it I might even be able to eat it. I know the sugar helps with it being so spicy too. It kind of keeps it from being overpowering. I'm just really afraid of eating spicy stuff because it just burns my face, my mouth, my face, everything. Um, and I don't care for that. But if it's a milder spice, I can deal with it. I knew what you meant, Marcel. <laughs> I uh, I was though. I was exhausted today after that after that band competition. They did really good, but I was tired, really tired. And I guess it, the weather was absolutely beautiful. I'm and I'm talking gorgeous weather. But it's still, you know, when you got the sun baking on you all all day almost, it has a tendency to wear you out. And I got a little bit of sun on me too. Well, you can't see it, but I got a, a little V shape right here where my, my outfit was. Hey DJ, how are you doing this evening? What are you doing up so late? I thought you turned into a pumpkin at midnight. <laughs> it's misery. I don't like, you know, well, I, I get it, Marcel. I do. I, I get that. Um, but honestly, it wasn't super hot. It was just baking me, you know. We didn't have any shade. And let me tell you what happened. Okay, so a few weeks ago. My oldest daughter came over and it was pouring down rain and she was delivering the baby to me and she needed to go somewhere for herself. And she says, oh, hey, mom, can I use your umbrella? So I said, yes, of course, you can use my umbrella. You know, you don't want to see your young and getting 
pelted by the rain. I don't care how old she is. But, yeah, she didn't bring it back for a while. And so when I was at her house last week, I said, hey, where's that umbrella? Because I really need it for this month of October because the band competitions, I always take an umbrella with me because when you're sitting in the bleachers, it really helps with the sun. Well, she let Millie break it and didn't tell me about it until I asked for it. And it was in the back of her car, broken. And she gave, she had the nerve to hand it to me. <laughs> so I, I, I looked at her and said, are you serious? It's really broken? She goes, I'm sorry, Mom. I'll buy you another one. And I'm thinking, yeah, sure you will. But <laughs> she, um, I handed it back to her. And I said, well, go ahead and let her play with it because I don't need it now. <coughs> Gosh, y'all, I wonder if I should get some gloves for my hands for these peppers. Mm. You're just getting in the bed. <laughs> well, I'm not doing a whole lot this evening, but I'm just, I was bored and I'm having insomnia, can't sleep, and I decided to go on ahead and get on here. Yeah, I think you're right, Laura. I just, I, I probably ought to get my gloves out. Ooh, that looks yucky. That's the beautiful thing about when you're processing your own food, you can cut the yucky parts out. Um, these ones aren't hot, so I'm not going to worry about that. Because these are, these are beautiful red roasted peppers. Um, the bush that I grew these on is actually still producing just a little bit. Grumpus says, um, it was nice this morning, 64 degrees. I got up early just to go outside with my car. You know, we were going to do that this morning, uh, Grumpus, but we we ended up sleeping too late. And we had to leave the house by 9 to get to the uh, competition. So we just had coffee on the run this morning. But I'm thinking about doing it in the morning. I sure hope this cool front lasts. Do you have any idea? Have you heard on the news if it's going to last or not? Yeah, I'll get the gloves. I've got some over here. Hang on. See? Um, sorry, guys. i got to wash my hands before I put them in those gloves. There we go. Oh, for the love of Pete. Well, I guess I'm not drying them off. Wait a minute. Ugh, paper towels. That'll work. Wait, cool. Having my last coffee, then going to watch TV and hope she sleep tonight. Laura, do you have trouble sleeping too, my dear? is not all the time it just kind of comes and goes um but tonight it's here and and it's really my own fault and that's okay i am wearing a romper i love this thing um i've got probably six or eight of them to be honest with you 64 to 88 tomorrow that is not bad i'm going to enjoy the crap out of that grumpus because it probably will be about the same here as it is there. Um, from what I understand, I've been watching some YouTubers, and we're having very, very similar weather as the people up north are having, uh, which I find pretty interesting, you know? Okay. Okay, got my gloves on. That was probably a really smart idea, wasn't it? <laughs> Because I'll be doing this to my eye and end up setting my eye on fire. Last night I did. Most times I used to sleep like the dead would. <laughs> I think once I get a job, my life will get back to someone. It probably will. You know, my kids all summer long will stay up all crazy hours of the night. And as soon as school starts, 
Those little stuckers go to sleep at 9 o'clock. But they have to wake up early, too. Not as early this year as they did last year. Last year, they had to wake up 530 in the morning, which I thought was insane. But um, I'm not going to separate these peppers because I don't really see a lot of point in it. I'll just set them all on the same. The only reason I wanted to separate the habanadas from the rest of the peppers is because I'm going to separate them when I'm finished, you know, and take the seeds out and stuff. Some of them. I could blister my skin. Um, thankfully, Grumpus, most of these are not hot peppers. Um, the only ones that are hot are the serranos, the jalapenos, and these little tiny Tabascos. And I'm just going to put a slit in those. I'm not even going to try to cut them in half because, I mean, that's kind of fruitless as small as they are. But you're right. I could blister myself. You used to sleep 1030 to 11. Yeah, I usually, most days, I get up with the kids and get them off to school. And then a lot of times I'll go back to sleep after I tend to my garden. I always go out there and water my garden as soon as they're off to school. And I go and, you know, pick weeds or do that kind of stuff. And it usually takes me less than 30 minutes to do all that. All right, y'all. This pepper looks gross on the inside. Probably because it's been frozen, but I'm not dehydrating that. That looks disgusting. Look, it's all brown on the inside. I don't like that. It's just the membrane part and the seeds. That'll be all right. But, um, and then, of course, I'm up all day, cook dinner, do all that. And I might take a nap in the morning after I get the garden done, and I'll sleep for an hour or so. Hey, Erin, how are you doing this evening? Do you have to work tomorrow? Um... I'm just up dehydrating peppers. See, look. Sorry, guys. I've got the. There. Ta-ta. <clears throat> but then, you know, I go, I go to bed usually about midnight, one o'clock, and then I do it all over again the next day. Who's up? Okay, what are you doing? Yeah, well, you probably should go back in there. Okay. My boy's up. He wants to play his game something fierce. Don't you? Yeah. Can you do it and be quiet? Yeah. I won't hear no cursing and hollering and banging on the... Who I cursed? Well, I don't know who you curse. No one. Okay, well... As long as you're quiet, you can. But if I have to tell you to be quiet, you got to go to bed. Got it? That's a fair deal, don't y'all think? Um, no, that's a dehydrator, Aaron. But the grill is on the floor in front of me, under the table. I did get the grill. Um, and I'm really excited to use it. But I have to get a table before I can use it. What is it, son? Making that up. I'm dehydrating peppers. Don't worry about what I'm doing in the kitchen. Go entertain yourself. Um, how long will it take before them peppers are done? Should I? Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Grumpus, you don't have to stick around if you don't want to. You go on to bed and get yourself some rest. Um. It will take till tomorrow afternoon before these peppers are absolutely and completely finished. And what I'll probably end up doing is just a, um, like a follow-up video on what I do with them and how I store them and stuff. Good grief. Yeah, it'll take at least till tomorrow afternoon. I want them good and crispy. So it might even take till tomorrow evening. I just don't know. You're right, Aaron. The job is never stinking done. Job will be done when I they throw dirt on my head. Of course, they won't be throwing no dirt on mine. They're going to cremate my behind, stick me in a jar. I'm going to give a little bit of me to every one of my kids. And there's going to be a picture on the front of the urn like this. 
and there's going to be a caption underneath it that says, I'm watching you. <laughs> My kids would lose their crap if I did that. Oh, no, 24 hours ain't bad. It's not bad at all. Um, and, it, you know, it doesn't heat up the house or anything because it just doesn't get hot enough. And if I if I need to, I could put it on the back porch and let it dry out there. The, the one thing I'm concerned about with drying these peppers in the house is that the fumes are going to get really bad and it's going to burn our eyes. But if it does, like I said, I'll just go, oh, hang on. Um, I'll just go and stick it on the porch and plug it in out there and it'll be fine. But, yeah, look at that. Okay, I got the only ones I have to do now are these right here and the little Tabascos. What was that noise? Oh, Google was trying to notify me of something. I thought I turned my notifications off. These are the best day. You know what, Erin, they are. They are. The, uh. I don't know what I, I don't know what I'd do without these annoying children. <laughs> they make me laugh every day. And they make me want to pull my hair out every day. <laughs> but you know, that's what they do. That's what they do. Let's see. See, with these little tiny ones, I'm just cutting a slit in the side so air can circulate in there. And um, that's all I'm doing. Ain't no sense in getting fancy. I'm just going to grind them up, right? I bet, bet I could do some drying on the smoker if I keep that. You probably could. Oh, hey, D okay. I'm sorry, baby. Hello. There's DJ. I left him in purgatory too long, y'all. I'm sorry, DJ. <sighs> I'm so busy running my mouth, I'm not even paying attention. You no. know what, Grumpus? I think you should try to do that and see see how it goes. Hmm. Because let me see what the temperature says here. The max temperature on my dehydrator is 160. Mm hmm. And that is plenty high enough to dehydrate. If you go any higher than that, you'll be cooking your peppers and making them, you know, burnt. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you doing this evening, DJ? You having a good day? Yeah, I had a good day. I, yeah. Yeah, I just been playing games. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mm. Well, I'm just trying to keep myself busy while I can't sleep. And that's all right, too. Yeah, I get that. Sometimes I can't sleep at all. And I'm up pretty much all night. So, I mm -hmm. get it. Mm. Well, you know what? You should make a whole bunch of videos at night when you can't sleep. Uh, I would, but that's too much noise. Too much uh, noise for the rest of the house? Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I get so, that. That's why I send my son to bed most evenings before midnight, because it's too much noise. Uh, yeah. Um, Yeah, if you do that, Grumpus, don't let that temperature get over 160. And I'll tell you another thing I do when I dehydrate things here in the South where the humidity is really high is I use my food saver and those um, oxygen remover little tiny packets. I stick the oxygen remover in the bag and then I dehydrate it. And that way, nothing clumps together, and it, it doesn't get moisture in the bag. 
And um, I know that when you suck all the air out of a bag or a jar or something, it's supposed to, oh, fiddlesticks. It's supposed to keep all the moisture and air out. But here where we live, I don't trust that because that humidity goes everywhere. When the sun is out, my black pit sometimes hits without a fire. Oh, wow. <laughs> that could work. You need to circulate air through there, though. That's one thing that needs to happen. Um, this dehydrator, see, it has a, uh, a fan underneath here. And that's what circulates the air through these vents. So I'm not sure how you would accomplish that. Have you ever seen the sun? I, I have, Laura. I don't know if Grumpus has, but I have. Those are very cool. Hmm. And uh, another thing, you know, they have um, dehydrating racks for outdoors. But Grumpus, here's the issue, again, with living in the South. Those sun-drying racks for outside, for like sun-dried tomatoes and things like that, they work great in the North where there's no humidity. But down here, what happens is everything gets moldy and it rots. Yeah. And so it's they just don't work well in the cell from mm. my from my experience. Now, somebody else might have a trick that they use, you know, where they can make it work. But I've never been able to make something like that work. Mm -hmm. What about you, DJ? You dehydrate anything? <laughs> You don't um, cook, do you, mister? Yeah, no, I don't, so... Your mama probably says, get out of my kitchen. No, I do. My mama likes to sit when I sit in the kitchen and watch her and cook. And that and talk to her while she's busy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't like anybody in my kitchen with me usually because yeah, well, they annoy me. <laughs> uh, yeah. I well, my bunch always think that, that they're trying to help. Since I was a young kid. Mm hmm. So. Uh, mm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Grumpus, well, you could set a fan up in there because. Like you said, without a fire, it's not going to burn your fan up or melt it. So, um, mm. Laura, I, Laura wants to know where you live, DJ. And Aaron wants to know, what about you, DJ? Do you dehydrate anything? <laughs> no. No. Same, Charlotte. You cook. Yeah. Yeah. I like to cook alone. I don't like anybody invading yeah, my and I live in Florida. Yeah, he lives in Florida. So he's in the same kind of climate that we're in, uh, Aaron. Okay, yeah. this is tray number three. Look at there. Isn't that beautiful, y'all? Nice. God, that's gorgeous. Now, I've got five trays. But, oh, that's just. I'm like, but one looks dirty, but it's not. It's the seeds dropping through. <laughs> I'm like, who the heck didn't clean this? I know it wasn't me. Um, see, here's the problem I have is whenever I, I cook and I delegate all the cleaning responsibilities to everybody else around here, I figure if I'm going to cook it, they can clean it mm. up, right? Oh, my. Hang on, guys. Let me. Uh, I need to plug in my phone real quick. I forgot to do that. Sticks. If not, my phone's going to die. Uh, yeah, there. No. there we go. That's good. Um, <laughs> but I've got all different colors of Tabascos, too. I don't know. Can y'all see those? Yeah. I got the red ones and orange ones and green ones. And I even have some that are trying to dry on their own. Yeah. Um, huh. 
Y'all, I'm not too sure what to do with Tabasco peppers other than I have more of them. I have, uh, let me show you. I've got this great big jar of them too. And I've got some habanadas in here and some shishitos and some, uh, some more jalapenos. Those might be, yeah, those are jalapenos. But um, I was going to save these for another project. I'm going to pickle these. Nice. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know if I'll do it tonight. Oh, and I've got... Um... Let's see. I got these wrinkled the old peppers here, too. I was mm. thinking about pickling these um, bell peppers here. Because this is an orange bell. And this is a green bell. And I was going to put those in with the pickled one. And that way, I love to put pickled pepper sauce, the, the juice, all over my mustard greens and my collard greens and stuff. Mm. So that's what I'm doing that for. Okay, so this is going to be a pain in my fanny because these little Tabascos are so tiny. But it's got to be done. Yeah. We'll stay mm. here and do it. You thought harper peppers were a spring harp. Let me tell you something, Aaron. A lot of people buy their peppers in the spring. Um, that's when a lot of the uh, big box stores and your, uh, you know, like Fazio's, they put out their pepper plants in the spring. I plant mm. mine in the spring, usually around the first week of April when it, the soil gets warm enough. But they will grow until... I can get peppers off my pepper plants until the first frost. And if I put them in a greenhouse, I can keep them alive till next spring, stick them back in the ground, and they'll be ready to grow right off the get-go. Hey, Patrick, how are you doing this evening? Oh. Uh, it's, it's not evening where you are. What, what time is it over there? One to one, two, three. It's about, mm -hmm. what, four o'clock in the afternoon? Mm -hmm. In Australia? Yep. Do you have to work tomorrow, Aaron? Guys, I would stick your comments up on the thing, but my hands are kind of busy, so please forgive me. Um, Patrick, I'm doing my insomnia stream again. <clears throat> and I'm messing with peppers. Um... Yes, nearly four. I'm almost. You're almost sober. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I got to see this. I'm gonna put a link in there, and you're gonna come up here and show me sober Patrick. <laughs> oh. So, what do you have planned for tomorrow, DJ? Um, probably might make some videos. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm pretty sure you know this, but if we're on here right now, but I'm doing a month-long Halloween person. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, all my two animated channels, I'm gonna be putting out a total of 10 videos a week. For a me. week? Yes, two a day, one on each channel. Okay. That's really ambitious, DJ. Have you ever done that before? For two channels, no. Mm, mm, just for the one? Yes. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, because my second channel animation sensation 
I just began this past January, so, mm-hmm. yeah, but I know we do Halloween videos in October anyway, so it's a good thing to do. Uh-huh. So, I mean, so, I, I do ahead. most do it for Halloween and Christmas every year. Every year, huh? Yeah. So, that I mean, is pretty impressive. I don't know that I could do that. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend anyone try mm-hmm. what well, um do it because y- you have to be insane to do it <laughs> and yes I just said that I was insane, insane. I heard you I heard you <laughs> so <laughs> oh my god That's funny. Okay, I got I got a, a downward view of my uh cutting board now, y'all. So I figured I'd show y'all what I'm doing here. It's not yes. easy, I promise you that. Hmm. These itty bitty little good for nothing peppers. Um let's see. Hmm. Oh gosh, y'all my nose itches and I can't touch it. Jesus. Uh, Look and DJ, do you know the only thing I can see is your nose? Yeah, well, you <laughs> will see my nose or not see me at all. Or not at all? Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, do any of you guys think that the fumes from the peppers cooking are going to burn our eyes all night long? Because I've never done peppers like this before in the dehydrator, so I don't know what's going to happen. It's possible. It is possible, isn't it? (laughs) Yeah. Scissors. You know what, Patrick? Why didn't I think of that? What? Patrick said scissors would be easier. Shit. Uh Look, yeah, I don't normally swear on my channel, but that was just a, a dumb thing. Knife. I yeah, mean, you're right. Look at that. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Good grief. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That was See, I'm, so, I'm oh, trying to keep them together at the yeah. very end. Hmm. See, and that way they, they're it's more mass, and they won't fall through the cracks. Ah, shoot, y'all! Let me tell you what I did the other day. I sliced the crap out of my thumb while I was trying to cut some uh uh those pears up. Oof. It was terrible. And I'm on blood thinner, so it bled for like three hours. I have gloves on, Aaron, so the the uh, the peppers aren't going to burn my fingers or my eyeballs, but it might make fumes in the house. Um, I have meat ones when what? Oh Lord. Laura, sometimes you say things I have no idea what you're talking about. But it's because, it's because I haven't, oof, let's see. I got to go back. It was Laura's idea. Well, thank you, Laura. Thank you for for that yeah. idea. Because it's definitely a lot easier. Yeah. Okay. I don't feel like doing any more of these stupid little Tabasco peppers. Hmm. 
but I gotta do them or they're gonna rot to death. Um. But anyhow, I just thought it was a really good idea to do the peppers this way because you don't think the fumes will be that bad. Thanks, Laura. I hope not. Mm. I really hope not. Um, but anyhow, what I was going to say is I, ha I, I hated for all of this hard work of mine to go to waste and just let these peppers rot, you know? Yeah, I did, yeah. Good. It took months to grow all these peppers. Yeah. Ever since April, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's easier for me to do, oh, shoot. It's easier for me to do work like this, busy work like this in the middle of the night when nobody's up and I can just kind of concentrate on what I'm doing and yeah. not be bothered with having to take care of everybody. <laughs> Stop in the middle 45 times, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So, what's everybody got planned tomorrow? I already asked DJ. He's gonna make videos. What? Do you, what's the rest yep. of it? I got the the uh, chat up now, where I can see it. Hmm. I think my plan is to go shopping for a table to put my new um, Blackstone griddle on. Cool. I cannot wait to get that. You know what Poppy was saying? Because I told him I wanted a bigger table than, you know, they sell grill tables at Walmart or Home Depot and stuff like that. Yeah. And I told him, I said, I need something bigger that has like a countertop on it or something. So I can prepare and, and cook and like when something's done, set it off to the side, that kind of stuff. And he said, what well, my patio is not level my porch back there because it's designed higher at the door than it is at the step to let the water drain off. Well, he said, why don't we get some of that uh, greenhouse plastic and set it down and build a wood box put some some kind of rebar type material in there to shore up the um, concrete and just pour a self-leveling concrete in the box. And that way it won't matter because if it self levels in the, in the two by four box, mm -hmm. I'm going to need it like an inch or two thick. That way it can dry. We can take tap off the um, two by fours. And I'll have a concrete pad that's level on an unlevel patio. That's pretty yeah. genius, isn't it? Yeah, that would that make sense. Doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Mm. Rumpus, what do you think of Poppy's building skills on that idea? Mix concrete, pick up heavy stuff, repeat. <laughs> that's what you're going to be doing all day tomorrow, right? Goodness mm. gracious. Grumpus, why aren't you hiring somebody to do all that heavy work for you? My, you know, do you remember the story that I told you about my 70-year-old dad falling out of the stinking tree because he was too stubborn to hire somebody to trim the branches for him? And he hurt his shoulder and it didn't get well for like a year, year and a half. Mm -hmm. I hope that's not you. I hope that's not going to be you tomorrow. But you know what my dad does now? <laughs> my dad hires people to do the trees now. Okay. Rumpus, do you think that that my dad's cheap too? My dad, yeah, yeah, I hear you. I got you. Mm -hmm. So, Grumpus, about that poppy uh, doing the concrete, you think that seriously think that that's going to work? Because I was kind of skeptical that it might not work. But, oh, Lord. Okay, I am done with these Tabasco peppers, y'all. Absolutely mm. done. I have a few left, but I'll just take these that are not, these aren't, these weren't frozen. I'm going to take what I have left over and stick them in this jar and just pickle them tomorrow. 
because I'm done cutting those things. That's a pain in my behind. I'll All get right. the kids to do it tomorrow, and I won't have to touch them. <laughs> there we go. Now I got to clean up this mess. Oh gosh. Oh, fiddlesticks. This, these two looked bad. Like they had something went wrong with them. That is a yucky piece. And then I've got all these stems over here. And look at that. Mm -hmm. And now I don't need this anymore. So let's. Boy, that sure did take a long time just to cut up a bunch of peppers, y'all. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so these are my Tabascos. And it made a good bit. Yeah, nice. And then these are the assorted peppers of uh, the ahi dulce, the shishitos, the habanero, I mean the uh, serranos and the jalapenos and the roasted peppers. And then these are the habanada peppers. And I could smell them. They smell so delicious, y'all. I cannot even tell you the aroma that comes from those habanada peppers. Now, I just stick this bad boy on the top. Can y'all see what I'm doing? No, shoot. All right, look. I just stacked those trays right there. See? Yep. There they all are, and I stick that on the top. This is the easiest dehydrator I've ever owned. I mean, there's nothing hard about a dehydrator anyway, but this one is just super simple. Mm. Except I'm not tall enough. This is hilarious, y'all. I'm only five foot one. Well, the countertop is two feet deep, and my arms ain't but about two feet long. So I always have to get on my tippy toe <laughs> to, reach the, to reach the plug. Okay, I'm going to turn it on 145 degrees, and that way... They will dehydrate slowly instead mm. of, I don't want to take the chance of them getting overdone. So I'm just going to do it slowly. Mm. And I will probably end up waiting until tomorrow evening. And well, I'll be testing them through the day and make sure they look right and they feel right. But I'll be testing them. And then t probably tomorrow evening, they will be good and dehydrated. And then I'll start grinding them up and making pepper powder, hmm. which is really exciting to me because I can't wait to. T what I'll probably do is save some of the paper pepper powder. I can't say that tonight, y'all. <laughs> save some of the pepper powder and, and use it maybe on the eggs that I cook on my Blackstone whenever I get it seasoned. What do y'all think? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go sit down because, look, Patrick, I had my goggles just in case my eyes started burning from the peppers. I was going to use my onion goggles for the peppers, <laughs> but I didn't need to because the peppers didn't burn my eyes, but. I'm going to put some onions in with those Tabasco peppers tomorrow, so I'm going to keep them out for tomorrow. Hmm. That's right. Patrick, you're right. Mrs. Grumpus is very lucky to have some husband building her a pergola, and I hope everybody reminds Poppy of that the next time we talk to him. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Poppy's done so much work. I think I'm going to give him a little season of break after he, um, after we decide what to do with that. What do you call it? The concrete pad and the griddle table. Once we figure that out. I'm going to give him a little bit of a break and then come uh, Boy, come winter time, we're going to do some more work in the yard and get some things done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
You should be ashamed, Grumpus. You know Mrs. Grumpus is good to you. Hmm. She <laughs> married out of her league. <laughs> you mean, you mean, oh, wait a minute, take a break. What am I taking a break from, Aaron? Thank you, Patrick. Those peppers do look amazing. I didn't mm. get I didn't get pepper jelly. Oh God, yes, I did. Holy Toledo. Got pepper juice on your fickle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I sure did. I got to wash my hands again. I hope it works. Yeah. Rufus, how do I get pepper fumes off my fingers? I bet Grumpus knows. <laughs> oh, I, I am going to, yeah, I'm going to sit down in a minute. I just got to get this hot peppery stuff off my fingers. I should have should have put the, pep, the gloves on before I started. Yeah. No, Grumpus, I just didn't lick it and it was hot. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> silly. <laughs> silly. Mm. Oh gosh. Mm. I hope washing them helps. Uh, I really do. Yeah, I mean, it would help to well, do, so. The only thing that I'm concerned about, y'all, is that I will um my eyes itch all the time because I have allergies and I don't want to stick a hot finger in my eye. Aaron, yeah. you said milk. That wonder if vinegar will work. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Washing them helped that time. I know I was lucky though, wasn't I? <laughs> I was lucky. Yeah. So, um, Patrick, did you hear that we went to the band competition today? It was our first one of the season. We've got four more to go to. Five. Five more to go to through the month of October. And then there might be another one in November. <laughs> it's going to be a busy, busy month for us. And yeah. look, I got a little bit of sunburn on me. See that? See the difference? Yeah. It doesn't hurt or anything, but I don't burn badly. <laughs> My family's Greek and Spanish, and, and I got a lot of that... Uh, resistance to the sun but i don't get in the sun very often honestly even when i go out in my garden i'm try to cover up mm -hmm. look i don't want to get skin cancer i'm already batting a thousand with smoking mm -hmm. mm. Oh my gosh, that tea tastes so good. Whoa, I might need to get some more. Y'all, I'm the poster child for ADHD. I can't decide what I want to do and when I want to do it. Uh, yeah, and I had to, uh, And I don't sit down for nothing. The only time y'all ever see me sitting down is when I'm live streaming. And then it's very difficult for me to sit still for a long period of time. I got to do something. Yeah. Um, kicking my feet or drawing a little doodle or so anything. All right. Okay. I'm going to relax. Resistant to the sun, but not really. I know. <laughs> Patrick, you're hurting my feelings. <laughs> I'm not resistant to chili. Poppy fixed it today. We we did the beginning and we did the end. 
Now all I have to do is edit all the clips together and it'll be ready. So please. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's hilarious. <laughs> Maybe I am resistant to chili. Maybe I am. Maybe I have a sensitivity. Maybe. All right, what is this? Gang up on Gulf this Granny Night. <laughs> Grumpus is laughing at him, DJ. Thinking yeah. Patty's being funny. <laughs> uh, well, so I'm going to hop off. All right, DJ, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us this evening. I know it's yeah, late for you. Anytime. All right, my dear, take care. Literally anytime. Okay, baby. You have All a good right, evening. Bye. Bye-bye. Will, anybody got any other clever ideas to do with peppers because the only thing I have working right now is the dehydrating and then I'm going to pickle some uh, Tabascos along with a few other things stuck in there and um, I have more peppers and I'm not quite sure what to do with them so if y'all have some ideas let me know I guess I could make a cake with them <laughs> Good Lord, that would be hilarious. Chili's coming. Um, mo oh, yo, good grief. Grumpus, stop. <laughs> You've been hanging out with them other people we were watching earlier. They hung out with them for too long. <laughs> that was a fun stream, wasn't it? Me and Grumpus were on, um, oh, gosh. Carla having fun's live stream tonight. Oh, buffalo wings. That's a great idea, Patrick. Um, and they have a lot of fun over there. She ain't playing around with the whole Carla having fun thing. But I think that one gentleman was a little intoxicated, more so than we usually get. Which is fine, but I just noticed it. <laughs> I just noticed. Oh. Y'all, I'm avoiding cleaning this house. I need to get motivated to get it done, but oh, it's just something I don't like to do very much, especially when everybody's here. Yeah, you did miss her live stream, Patrick, but that's a, I mean, I think she ended at around midnight or so. And she had a lot of folks on there, Grumpus. I was really surprised. And I knew two of you. I mean, because Grumpus was there and um, Tony was there. And she knows uh, Leprechaun TV. Apparently, they're buddies. And I just thought that was real interesting because I'm familiar with those people. Oh, shoot. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'll be catching the next one, too. I promised her last night I would pop in, and I did. I did pop in, but um, I was only able to stay for about 15 minutes because my internet was acting up, and it kept kicking me out. So I had to get Poppy up and have him take a look at it. And he got it fixed somehow. I'm, I'm not sure how he did it, but he did it, and now I'm back. So, I mean, I'm on my own, not hers, but... She said, they, oh, they went private. So they're like me. They stay up late, huh? Okay. Oh, 
will be shoot. Oh, he can fix anything, Grumpus. It's amazing to me sometimes the things he can fix. All right, if y'all want to come in here, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. Um, <coughs> Poppy thinks I should do a Blackstone Hall video. What do y'all think? Because I already showed y'all what everything is. I mean, all the stuff that I bought yesterday or day before, whatever day it was. I can't even remember anymore. But um, I guess nobody else has seen it. Just us. I know tomorrow I'm going to do a pumpkin soup one. And um, I got to do a gardening video this week. Because I got a lot of stuff growing out there now. All the, the seeds that I planted last week are coming up. But so, y'all ain't going to believe this. I planted a whole six foot row of beet. Six feet. And only three of them have little leaves on them now. Something came up. At, okay, a few days ago I went out there and I had little tiny beets showing through the dirt. About every four inches. There are three left. Something went in there and ate every single beet. So now I got to move to another bed. I'm going to do a 10 foot row of them and stick my seeds in there and see if that will, you know, see if something won't eat them there. Yes, start the Blackstone Adventure videos from the beginning. All right. All right. Um,. I'm going to stick all of those videos in a playlist and I'm going to hang on to every single one of them and put them in a separate folder. And if they do very, very well and people want to see more of it, I think what I'm going to do is take them off of this channel and stick them on their own channel and do a second channel. Folks will want to learn with me. Okay. Okay. You know I'm probably going to burn a few things up, right? I'm going to be absolutely mortified. But you know what I saw recently? I was watching a Blackstone video. And, you know, they get really hot. They get 500 degrees or so if you have it turned up high enough. And a lot of the people that I was watching learning to cook, they would turn it all the way full blast up, and then they'd burn up everything that they had. And that just tells me they're very inexperienced they, they, at cooking because everybody knows you don't turn a burner on full blast unless you know what it's going to do. And so at least I feel like I have enough experience in the kitchen to know not to turn something up full blast and try to – Test it and see how hot it's going to be before I start cooking on it. No need for a different channel. Hashtag Blackstone on this one. Okay. Okay. All right, then. Heck, yeah. I, I, you know, um, I've decided, kind of like Carla did, I'm just going to do this thing the way I want to. This channel. And if it's good, it's good. And if it's not, well, I guess I'm just having fun instead of, um, the goal that I started. Oh gosh, y'all. I just got a whiff of those peppers that are getting warm in that dehydrator. I cannot, I wish, I wish, I wish I had smell a vision right here. I'm serious. A different channel for the naked cooking that. Well, yeah, I thought I might do naked cooking and naked gardening. <laughs> you know, I'm not doing that. Insane. I'd scare half of YouTube. Y'all be scarred for life. Um, can y'all believe my son is still up? Murphy, it's 1.30 in the morning. Murphy, yeah. it's 1.30 in the morning. Don't you need to go to sleep? Yeah, yeah you do. You know what he said? Yeah. 
the naked granny. <laughs> You're so insane, Patrick. That is not going to happen. Oh, God. I was talking to Poppy the other day. I said, hey, Poppy, you think I should color my hair? He said, why? I said, well, you know, it's a girl thing. He said, no, I don't think you should color your hair. It looks fine the way it is. <laughs> All right, that's good enough for me. I'm not coloring my hair. I'll show. I'll show what goes less than perfect. And offer advice on what I'd do different the next time. Yeah, yeah. And that's a good idea. And, you know, I do that in my own kitchen on most of my videos. I mean, good Lord. I don't know if you've ever seen the video where I tried to cook uh, Paula Dean's uh, pineapple casserole. Dear God, y'all, that thing was awful. It was terrible. I got my first hate comment on that video. But... I thought it was going to be good. It had cheddar cheese and it had Ritz crackers and it had pineapples. How could it be bad? Right. And also when I was young, I went to a, a church function and they had a potluck and this type of dish was there and I didn't know how they cooked it. So I started looking up this recipe and found it on Paula Dean's website. Y'all that thing tasted like hammered dog crap. It was terrible. It didn't form a, a crust on the top. It didn't brown. It did, And my stove was fine. And I, I don't know what happened to it, but it was terrible. And I, I told him in that video that I was going to try to redeem that dish. I tried that dish three times, not on a video, but I tried it again three times, and it was still sucky. It was terrible. So I don't know if it was just me. Or if it was Paula Dean's recipe, but it was terrible. The only time I eat pineapples is when it's on pizza. I love pineapple on pizza, but I like pineapple on other things too. The only thing I don't care for a whole lot is I don't like pineapple upside down cake. Because it makes the cake really soggy and I don't do soggy bread or cake. No. If it feels wet, I'm not eating it. But unless it's French onion soup. And I will, I will eat that, but that's a different animal too. But yeah, I love pineapple. That's probably one of my favorite fruits. Pineapples and mangoes and bananas and peaches and pears. I love blueberries. That's not really a fruit. It's berry, but I love blueberries. I'm not a huge fan of strawberries. I can eat them on things, and I like the strawberry flavor, but I don't, I think it's something to do with the seeds I don't care for. Oh, God, I needed that tea, y'all. You love French onion soup without pineapple. <laughs> I had French onion soup today for lunch, and it was delicious. And I had a really good hamburger at Applebee's. And I was surprised because I've never had a um, hamburger from Applebee's before. But it was good. You love, um, you don't eat much fruit. I eat quite a bit of fruit. I like, oh, and I do like tangerines too. I like tangerines a lot. Um, and I love grapefruit. Oh my gosh, I love grapefruit. But this new medication that I'm taking, this new blood thinner, it um, I'm not supposed to eat grapefruit and take this blood thinner at the same time. And I'm not really sure why. But yeah, mangoes and pepper hot sauce. Oh God, that's delicious. Rumpus, that sounds so good. Oh, that's the same kind of um, that's the same kind of hot sauce that um, Marcel sent to Patrick. Was the mango hot sauce? They put pineapple on burgers here. I've never liked that. You know, when I when you were doing the great um, beetroot steak sandwich challenge. 
I looked up Australian steak sandwiches and I was looking for different recipes. And a lot of those had the pineapple on it, too. And I was really surprised about that. And I made one. I didn't do a video on it, but way back then when you were doing that, I made a sandwich just like you had it. And I put a, I did one half of it with the pineapple and one half without. And I'll be honest with you, I think the one without the pineapple tasted better. Um, I think pineapple is better served on something other than a steak sandwich. You still have some left. You do really. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. We went to a burger pl place not long ago. I kid you not. They have a peanut butter burger. And the thought of that just totally creeped me out. I don't know if it's good or not. I wasn't about to order it. But they had one, and I guess they slather peanut butter all over the bun and use it like a condiment and smash a burger in there. That sounds disgusting to me. Um, I think the sandwich I finally found with beetroot on it had pineapple as well. I don't remember that. I mean, one thing I wanted to ask you, Patrick, is when, when they serve those steak sandwiches, do they put a fried egg on it or or not because I know some that I looked up did have a fried egg on them and some didn't but I wanted to know if that was common over where you live I've seen videos on peanut butter burgers I don't know Patrick that just bleh. Maybe it's just the thought of it that, that I have a problem with. Okay, it must have a fried egg. Okay, okay. <laughs> Welcome back, Laura. Where did you go? Did you take a nap? <laughs> did Grumpus drop off? Somebody did. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Okay. Um. Well, guys, I think I'm going to call it quits tonight. It is 128. I'm going to try really hard to go get some sleep because I got a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. Poppy's going to wake me up probably about 7 o'clock with some coffee and say, roll out, lady. And then I'm going to have to cuss at him and be ugly and grumpy for about 10 minutes. I don't do mornings very well at all, especially when I can't sleep. Washed your face, brushed your teeth, was dancing naked. Good grief. So what happened to your t-shirt and your gitch? Gosh, I almost feel yucky saying the word gitch. You know that? <laughs> Sugar-free, no caffeine, whole grain, single malt juice. It'll help your insomnia. Wait a minute. Sugar-free, no caffeine, whole grain, single malt juice. Are you talking about beer? No, because that has sugar. Rumpus, I don't know where to get that. I don't know where to get anything like that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, you're in your nightgown. Single mom, too. Look, Pat Patrick's all for that. Patrick is all for it. Oh, whiskey. Well, whiskey has sugar in it. Scotch. Oh, well, all right then. I've got scotch. <laughs> Y'all. Well, I tell you what. I'm going to get off of here and go get me some scotch. Try to get to sleep. I want y'all to have a wonderful evening. Thanks a lot for joining me this evening. You know, I appreciate all of you very, very much. And uh, anyhow, I'll show you tomorrow how the peppers turn out. How you like that? See you guys later. Good night.